Hey guys, Faisal here with Nexus 7 Soft Modder. And uh, if you've been following along with uh, kind of anything that's been happening in the Soft Modder world, you know that a lot of the the newest ways to customize your rooted experience is to use um, exposed framework and the various modules that come with it. Uh, today I'm going to show you the uh, way to install exposed. It's actually it's really simple, uh, but you know it is a very basic thing to get all these other modules to work. So um, let's just jump right into it. Uh, there's a link in the article for the download file, um, or you can go to the XDA page and get it from there. Um, now the, the link will go to the latest version of the file so you don't have to worry about uh, you know maybe getting an older one. Um, so go ahead and install it. Not a very big file and then when you're done you're gonna see it here in your uh, notification shade. So go ahead and just click on that. Now again you want to make sure that you have um, unknown resources checked off in your settings uh, and security um, area. So um, as long as that's all good, you know, just click on the uh, download in your notification shade, and it's going to install like any other app. Um, it, you know, it does require quite a lot of permissions. That's because it, you know, uh, depending on the module, you can control quite a few things here. So I'm going to go ahead, hit next, and install. Uh, and it installs pretty quickly. Uh, and then once that's done, go ahead and open it. And the first thing you want to do is go to framework and again you have the latest version but from time to time uh, you may want to check this out and just go ahead and hit this first option which is install and update and it's gonna make sure uh, that you're on the latest version now again you do have to be rooted so um, it's gonna ask you for super user permissions uh, and then you know it checks with its server and it uh, writes the latest version keep in mind that uh, anytime you update or download any module you're gonna have to do a reboot you can do it from this menu here just hit the reboot button uh, it's gonna go ahead and reboot uh, I'm not gonna show you guys that here because um, I mean obviously you know what that's gonna do um, the other options in this app are um, the the downloads so this actually has a pretty good list of the most current modules go ahead and play around with these uh, uh, I've got links in the article to some of the ones that we've covered. Um, one thing you want to be careful of is you want to make sure you're downloading correct modules for your device. Now, uh, the only real uh, way you kind of get in trouble there is there are some here, uh, such as the, the Wanum uh, Expose, which is really geared towards Samsung stock ROMs. There's others here for Xperia. Now, the Xperia ones are interesting. Some are for the phone and some make your phone like the Xperia. So uh, all these have descriptions in them and if you click on a module it's got a description, it's got links to the various forums for support and uh, there's a simple download button there. So um, you know that's pretty much it guys. If you guys have any questions go ahead and leave them in the comment section and uh, make sure you uh, like this video and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.